Awesome. So we're here with Jay. Thank you. Hey, no, thanks, Andy. Great to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, great to see you. You've been doing amazing things like all the time, and this is the latest. So for all you ukulele players, Jake has a new instructional book. Um, why don't you take us through, I yeah. guess, uh, what it covers and, and um, how you started this book? And uh, yeah, kind of, is it geared towards a beginner? Or? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, you know, it's it's geared toward the the beginner player. Um, and uh, and you know, and I, I I can't take credit. I mean, I I have to, you know, the guys at Hal Leonard, especially uh, Jeff Schrodo and those guys really helped me so much you know to kind of organize the ideas and to kind of help me because like a lot of times I will be like oh, oh maybe we'll do, this, do this and you know teach it this way and this way but you know and my mind's like all over the place sometimes you know so they really helped me to kind of focus a lot of the ideas and and just like you know basic things like th things that like for me you know I, I just 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 like a simple example you know like when, when I would when I would teach before um, I would teach kids and you know, or even adults, and uh, if they've never played the ukulele before, like just teaching them like a G chord, right? Like a G major chord, you know, um, you know, it's very challenging, you know, because they're using three different fingers, and you know, they have to memorize like which finger goes where. So they're learning this this little triangle formation with their fingers, and then you know, so they play the G, and then the next chord might be a C, and they got to take everything off and go to the C, you know. So it's like so the the approach was kind of like you take that G formation and you apply it in as many different areas along the fretboard to learn as many different chords as possible right so like yeah if you have it on the second fret right that's your G chord you know you move it up to your seventh fret that's your C chord right but then you know you teach them all the other stuff like you move it back two frets that's your B flat six chord you know you move it back again it's your A seven chord you move it back again it's your A flat major seven chord you know so just you move it all the way to the tenth right it's the same shape and you're just moving it you know left to right and, and then you're learning all these other chords with that one shape so you know to me that that's that's really that's that's really key you know for I think a lot of beginners because because when you first start playing when you learn a chord the last thing you want to do is you know be thinking about oh okay now I got to move my fingers here and I got to move it back here but if you can just stay in one shape then you can just focus on the right hand but you can still play songs right because in that shape you can still play the G you can play the four chord slide it up to the seven you can slide it up again right to the ninth and you can get away with the, that being the five chord you know so you can still play like a blues thing you can still play like a pop tune right and then so then you take that but then you also take the same formation and then you move everything up a, 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 a whole sh one string right. right so now from the G formation you move everything up a whole string now you got your B7 chord right you got your B7 slide it up a half step that's your C7 chord well you know with the, with the six but but still you know it's it's just 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 the same shape and you're just sliding it all over the all over the uh, the fretboard so I think you know it's like those kinds of you know basic ideas so that's an example of uh, the ideas shared in here there's different techniques um, you have some reading some tabs a lot looks like mostly tabbed out and in, yeah uh, and in uh, regular notation yeah it's a lot of just you know so oh, so this is like the example of like the three finger triangle chords you know so you basically have this one shape and you just move it you know you're just moving that same shape up and down the fretboard you know and every then, time it's just going to be a different chord. Yeah, and every time it's going to be a different chord. I mean, you know, they're, they're not I'm, always going to work. But but you're not you're not going up necessarily chromatically, right? But you know, but it's like from the G but second that's what fret. This is showing from yeah. Right? Well, well, not not necessarily because like from here to here, right? This is this is a half step. This is a half step, half step. But then whole step, oh, right? I see. Oh, and then okay. you get a half step here, and then a oh, whole, and right, then a whole right, step, right. right? So you're. I thought so they you're, were given the dissonant ones in between, but yeah, not, uh, these ones work best, I guess using it in that way yeah yeah these would be the most common i mean you know the the c6 9 sharp 11 would be the most i guess you know far out chord there but you know but all of these can be applied because once you learn your b flat six here and then you start learning chords in f you know you know that that the the b flat on the first position like that that's that's such a tough one for beginners but once they learn their g chord they can play their b flat here so they got the f and then they got the B flat in the in the triangle shape, you know, right, on the right, fifth right. fret. So it's it's and you know just things like that. And stuff later on. Yeah, and then it gets into you know um, like little Christmas tunes. It gets into uh, you know just these little different chord progressions that you know that I just wrote out. Just just fun stuff, you know, like even like these kinds of descending chord progressions, right? You can you play the same shape, but you can get these very cool. Um, 
you know, interesting harmonies, right? You know, in that in that same shape. So just things like that, you know. Then you got your like a blues progression. Then we go into songs, you know, like this is a, you know, pipeline, right? You know, and in fact, it's so funny because at the Nam show here, I met the guy who actually wrote <laughs> wrote pipeline. So I was like, oh, it's, you know, we use it in the in the book. So I so I told him hopefully you know he gets paid his royalties for that. But you know, and then we go over you know different strumming techniques. Um, you know, tremolo picking, you know, some campanella stuff, and then just like some of my favorite cover tunes, you know, like While My Guitar Gently Weeps. But then, but a lot of it, what I did was I kind of simplified the arrangement a little bit, you know, because, you know, you can still hear the, hear the tune, you know, you can still hear the song, but it's in a more, you know, I think in, in a more concise uh, you know, in a more concise so, arrangement. Something you don't have to be at a super advanced yeah, level. To try yeah, yeah, and then and then yeah, because once you once you learn that the the basis of it, then you know if you want to add your own like yeah. little you know your own subtle and... nuances, whatever you know your own reharmonizations, it's real easy to do. So yeah, it's a, it was a lot of fun. You know, I, I I really had had a great time doing it, and then. Um, yeah, we just oh, get into some of travels. my uh, oh travels, yeah. yeah. Such a great song. Oh, thanks, man. So, yeah, it was it was it was a lot of fun to do, and and the um and the cool thing too is uh because this is my first time doing this, so but we also there's also a um a video. It's a so it's a video book, you know. So it's a the entire book is accompanied by uh by a and, by a video and tutorial. What, it gives you a code to put in on. Oh. Yeah, the exactly. Voice. So okay. you just enter, you know, the the, the code and from Hal you, Leonard. From Hal Leonard. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, you, you get the video, and then you it, just and play it, it, it shows the. I mean, are, is it showing the different exercises? Yeah. One so by one, yeah. So all the exercises in in here are all are all in the video. A company with a video. So it has like the, the time stamp, you know. So if you if you're working on this one, you go to four minutes and twenty seconds, and we're going wow. over, you know, all that stuff and. And, so and what's we're the going over like the chord progressions, you know, you, you go to an hour, you know, an hour forty-four. I think it's, or, or I guess, I guess, wait, what is this? Yeah, one? it looks like everyone with a play button. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the ones with the with the play buttons. Yeah, and I think it's most of them, you yeah, know. Look and at then that. and then and then we do performances too. So really? like, yeah. So me and my my buddy Nolan Burner, he's a bass player. Uh -huh. So we tour together. So like, we'll 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 perform, you know, some a lot of these songs. And, and how then, much is this? And they also did the tab. Twenty of it. bucks. That's a lot yeah. of you know material and content and the videos. Yeah. And, uh, so seems like this is going to be a bestseller well, for us. Well, we we just wanted to make it you know as affordable as possible you know because we're hoping that um, we're hoping that a lot of a lot of younger kids you know will be able to benefit yeah. from it and and you know the bottom I mean there's so many great teaching books out there instructional books and. You know, I mean, there, there's so many great ones out there already, but I but just... But this I just, one seems uh, like it, it offers some di a, a different look at certain things that oh, like, thanks. Uh, yeah, people well, can, can well, take from it. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully there's something... And then along with here. all the videos, that's that's quite quite a good value, I think. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, and then and then what, one, of the, one of the cool things about it, too, is like whenever, whenever I would teach, you know, like I would always... I would always start with one finger chords, you know, and you learn all the different chords that you can with just one finger, right? So like C, you know, or if you put your finger, you know, like, yeah, A, A7, F, right? right. C major seven, F, F, you know, A minor, like all, I mean, cause even with the F, you know, playing it with, with the one finger, right. you know, on the second string, first fret, technically it's an F at nine, but uh -huh. you know, but, but you can totally get away, you know, oh, yeah. with using that as just an F chord, and your four you chord. Yeah, that. you can do some other stuff, and then and then we go into two finger chords, oh, okay. you know, and then we go into three finger chords. So just kind of taking that yeah, that approach that is, too, yeah. you know. It's a different um, different approach. Yeah. But, um, so I don't know. Cool. Yeah, but awesome. Hey, how was the last uh, yeah. recording up in Nashville? Sound? Oh, that was such awesome. a you know it was such a great experience for me because I'd never well, was my first all original record. I've never had an all original record before, so that was pretty exciting and. And what we did was we tried to um, we tried to do it like the old school way, you know, like where you remember like the like the rock and roll bands would just, or even like jazz bands. You know, a lot of times they'll just go into the studio, they'll they'll rent the studio for like a few months, 
and they'll just they'll just basically Ash live in the there. studio. They'll live in the studio. They'll just write and hang and whatever, so right? Were experiment. Were you guys working out the arrangements as it was? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, recorded? well, we couldn't afford to rent the studio out for a couple months. So yeah. what we did was, you know, we tried on a much smaller scale. What we did was we rented the studio out for six days, and we basically just lived in the studio. You know, we stayed in there. We would just try to come up with ideas. When we have an idea, you know, we'd like, oh, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? You know, and we'd like, oh yeah, that's cool. Well, let's let's track and let's see what happens. You know, and then we'd start recording and we just play and um, and you know, and that that's how we we recorded this album. I mean, everybody was at the caliber to pull that off. And, uh, yeah, well, the I mean, you know, the I don't, I don't, the, the bassist and the drummer Nolan Burner and Evan Hutchings, like, I was so honored to play with God. them because I mean, they're such great musicians and. And playing with them was just so inspiring because it really pushed me, you know, to, uh, yeah. you know, to try new it's things and to and it experiment. Feels fresh, you know, yeah, rather than and I think that's that's too the worked thing. out in the studio where it gets, you know, almost too glossed off or something. That's that's what I appreciated most about this this new album is that um, is that because a lot of times if you write something right, like say you you know you're up at till like two or three in the morning and you write something, you're like, oh man, I just came up with this cool thing and. You, and so every time you play it, you know, for, for the next the next day or so, you're like inspired when you play it because it's something new and fresh, right? But then then you rent the studio out like a month later or two months later, and then you go into the studio and then you play it. And it kind of loses that excitement, I yeah. think. You kind of lose the, you know, the, the initial... You try to conjure it, but yeah, it's the initial, still like kind of a redone version exactly. of that initial yeah. you know, exciting... Uh, idea as it was just sprouting you know yeah exactly and that's that's what i love about the nashville sessions one is because we were basically recording it as almost as we were writing it you know like we'd come up with an idea and we just record it and just kind of go with it so you can still even though you know it's not the may not be the tightest and the cleanest you can still feel the insp you know that we were inspired playing it because it was like oh this it. is yeah. new this yeah, is cool yeah, yeah. so the energy is different you know yeah. and and that's what i love because it felt more like a life you're gonna before. try to do that again at, as, or something like i don't, that. I don't know man i i think we kind of got lucky <laughs> we kind of got lucky yeah. on this one that we were able to finish the whole record in six days but um Maybe you know but the next album. yeah and i think i think there there's a you know there could be a good balance of yeah. you know some of that and yeah, but then yeah, also yeah. being prepared you know in, in with yeah. some things so yeah i think th i think yeah. just finding that balance is is important yeah so well we really appreciate what you do oh what you, thanks uh, how you represent the instrument oh and, no um, man kamaka has been one of our best sellers for you know many oh, years yeah. now and we really appreciate what they do and um you have a new uh, signature model out with them that now, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're work, they might work through some orders, but essentially for, for customers, it's now one of the models in uh, their catalog that you in can actually line, yeah. order. So, um, you know, check with us on that. We'll be posting some pictures and, and sound samples and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a beautiful instrument. It, it looks like yours with just, um, the inlay script being a little bit different, and, yeah, you know, yeah. but uh, main, all the main features are pretty much your custom, right? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a bolted neck, you know, it's a bolted neck. The, I mean, the core that that they put on on the side for these, you know, for this signature line is just beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's so gorgeous, and you know, and and for me, it's it's I'm just so honored because when I was a kid, when when I was growing up, you know, my dream ukulele was the was the Otosan model, you know, Kamaka's Otosan model. I was like. Man, that's in fact the very first custom Kamaka that I ordered from oh, uh, from Casey the... was the Otosan. Mm. You know, it was, it was the Otosan. I and, love that model. And oh yeah, I love it. I mean, that was the first one I, I ever ordered, and I never ever dreamed, you know, that in a million years, you know, I would actually have, you know, my, my own model there. So it's the to me, it's you know, it's just it's just the yeah, highest honor. It. No, no, you know, no, I no. mean, like like you. You it's, work so hard at music too, you know. I mean, like your natural—it's—it's it's like you have to have the natural gift which you have, but then you have to be able to couple it with a really good work ethic to get accomplished what you've been able to do, you know. So um, oh, that's—I mean, thanks, a lot of that right. is just you know, yeah. getting down to it every day and, and focusing on music and, and you know, meditating on um, how to take it to the next level, and, you know. What, what does sound good and the experimentation that just goes into it and you really kind of trailblaze 
a new path for, for a lot of people and how they look at the instrument. So yeah. we're oh, big thank fans. Thank you very much, man. Uh, oh, thanks thank for you. taking the time to talk to me, too. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, so we'll catch up soon, and, and yeah. maybe uh, we can hook up sometime in uh, Hawaii and yeah, we'll shoot I a mean, video on the beach or we, something We live like in that. Hawaii, but the only time we get to see each other is <laughs> at the Navajo. Well, yeah, busy, <laughs> so, yeah. busy. Yeah, but Keep up you. the good work, man. No, no, thank you, man. Appreciate it.